So the plan was to film this vlog from the top of the uh, mountain there but um, as you'll see from the next clip my microphone decided to uh, pick up signals from the afterlife. <laughs> The title of the video is Vlogging with the X-H1. I've got the 18 to 55 kit lens um, set to 18 millimeters, the widest it goes. The microphone, which picks up signals from the dead, is the Boya MM1, which um, is a cheaper version of the Rode Micro. The Rode Micro, um, yeah, cheaper version. So what's one man and his food you what's it all about well i'm an english man who lives in sicily i'm a wannabe photographer philosopher comedian initially the project was to do a lot of uh, pov street photography videos but i went recently to the local ferme, the local spa, natural spas, volcanic waters. Took the GoPro, forgot to put the little flap on the side where the USB port goes in, and uh, suffice to say, the sulfur water destroyed it. So I've had to rethink what the channel is going to be going forward until I get that repaired. Money. Um, doesn't grow on trees for me at the moment we're on a tight budget so yeah um, hence why I grabbed the X-H1 and came for a lovely walk so the X-H1 is a vlog camera um, it's the heaviest out of the Fuji cameras the bulkiest apart from the GFX series of course but you'd never want to vlog with those. Um, but it's still lighter than your standard DSLR, so there's no reason why you, you can't vlog with it. Stabilization wise, I believe there is a conflict between the IBIS in the body and the optical stabilization in the kit lens. You get this jerky movement, which you can probably see now. For me, it's not much of a problem. I wouldn't usually do these walking pieces to camera. If you just stay still, it's perfectly adequate. It takes away the micro jitters. So what do we do for work at the moment in Sicily? Well, my wife and I are currently teaching English online so we can work anywhere in the world which for us is very important because we have a son in Brazil and a grandchild we have four children in England the eldest of those children is now pregnant as well as being in Sicily at this moment in time come summertime COVID dependent We'll be back in England for a few months and then off to Brazil. So if you're looking for a bit of a variety in your camera channels, please consider subscribing. It's going to be an interesting year. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm optimistic. Yes, 2020 was shit, but if you're watching this, you're still alive. 
And that's the main thing, you survived. Now another thing Sicily's good for, photography wise, is wedding photography. It's big business here. People spend a lot of money on their weddings, especially the photographs. You're looking at 5,000 euros to do a wedding. That's good money. And uh, ideally, once all this shit is over, that is my plan A, because plan B is the online English teaching. It's always need a plan B. Um, but plan A is to become a wedding photographer in Sicily because you can make a fortune. Yes, it's competitive, um, but the good thing we have family here and friends, so uh, it's not what you know, it's who you know. Once you've got your foot in the door, the world your oyster. And Bully's special prize, a speedboat. <laughs> So whatever photographic endeavours the universe provides for me in the future, I assure you, I'll only use Fuji. So yeah, this is the first time I've uh, taken the X-H1 out for a little road test, a vlog, and I've got to say I'm really happy with it. Uh, no problems whatsoever. Yeah, it's, a, it's bulkier than, than other cameras, but just look at what people were vlogging with five or six years ago. Does it really matter? For me, no. Um, do I need a wider lens? This, this is 18 millimeters, like I said before. But looking back at the footage, I've noticed it's fine. It's fine. You can see me, a bit of the background. This is a... Uh, a vineyard, by the way. This particular area of Sicily makes great wine. It's known for its wines. I don't drink wine. I haven't drunk any alcohol for two years. But that's another story for another video. But yeah, back to the X-H1. We're always searching for the, for the perfect camera. And um, sometimes the best camera is the one you've already got. I know it's a cliche. Make, make do with the tools you've already got and um, going forward that's exactly what I'm gonna do so I think that about wraps it up for now uh, thank you for watching the video uh, if you enjoyed it you know the score please if you haven't done so already subscribe hit the like button notification bell and share the video would be very, very much appreciated. So until the next time, from cold, grey, windy Sicily, ciao for now. Vaffanculo cane.